What up, y'all? It's Dominic369. I'm back at y'all with this Learn Planetary Magic series. Um, today is Wednesday. Wednesday is ruled by Mercury. So we're going to get into the things that are ruled by Mercury. First and foremost, you know, Mercury is the ruler of Gemini. You know, things that are governed by Gemini are ideas, thoughts, the mind, you know, the physical body part is the arm, you know, and then as far as Virgo, you know, writing is also ruled by Gemini. As far as Virgo, you know, a few things ruled by Virgo, the, the digestive system is ruled by Virgo, and the analytical faculty of the mind is ruled by Virgo. You know, Virgos are natural warriors and natural caretakers. Um, but in general, when you look at the rulership of Mercury, you know, the number is eight. The metal for Mercury is brass, brass and, you know, quicksilver or liquid, liquid metal Mercury is also sacred to Mercury, but I wouldn't advise you to touch that at all or mess with it. You don't need to mess with it. You know, like I said before, rituals are nice, but they're not necessary. So the incense, you know, for, <clears throat> for Mercury is storax and that's also called amber. Um, the plant for Mercury is the vervain. You can use vervain root for communication with the dead. Now, how that works is, now Mercury is another another name for, for Anpu or Anubis or wet, 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 you know, the opener of the way in ancient Egypt. In order to communicate with the astral plane where, where the spirits exist, because reality is like an onion. It has several layers on top of, of each other and, and they all coexist at the same time, but at the same time, there's unique layers to reality. And that's why you can communicate with beings from different dimensions and spirits of people who pass away. You know, because things exist on more than one level of existence all simultaneously. So the opener of the way, his herb, it's vervain, so, you know, you can use vervain root as an incense to summon spirits of the dead. Now, as we continue to go into the, to the uh, rulership of Mercury, the color is orange. You know, my bad, I couldn't find an orange shirt at the store. But the color of Mercury is orange and the number is eight. You know, I'm going to talk to you guys about something to help you, help you start twinking and priming your mind so you pay attention to, to things and symbols because I tell you all the time, magic is everywhere you are. You just aren't aware of it. Now, Mercury's number is eight. So an eight-sided figure is an octagon. At the crossroads or an intersection, which is ruled by Mercury, Legba, and Ampu, Wet, 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 Anubis, the opener of the way, they place the stop sign, which is an eight-sided symbol that regulates the passage of the way. There's magic everywhere. It's magic everywhere you look. You know, Mercury rules the mind. It rules writing. You know, it rules communication, commerce. You know, is. You know, ants, non-stinging bees, any insects that work, you know, together as a collective in community <clears throat> tend to fall under the rulership of Mercury as long as they're not stinging insects. Um, Mercury is, is, is a very interesting and, and fluid planet, not just because it rules, you know, an Earth sign, in a in an air sign because Gemini is an air sign and, and Virgo is an earth sign and those are opposing signs. You know, what what makes Mercury so interesting is, you know, when you get back into the mythology and you, you talk about, you know, the, the, the cardis, you know, the, the staff with the, you know, serpents and things like that, you know, Mercury rules healing. So anytime you want to send somebody healing energy, you should, you know, Focus on sending them orange energy because orange is the color of of vit it's a color of vitality that, that vitalizes and stimulates the life force. You know, 
that's one of the colors that you can use for healing orange and blue. But like, if you want to harness Mercury's healing power, you want to focus on, you know, the color orange, you know, the stone of Mercury. If you want to get your, get your, your mind better and things like that, and you need to, you know, make yourself a, a you know, something that, that supplements your energy and helps align your energy because that's all crystals and mojo bags and stuff like that do. They, they, the person who makes them, or if you make them, you activate the energy and the herbs and whatever else you got in there. And that the activation and the person having it on them just starts to align them with that energy. Nothing spooky about that either. You know, magnetism. These things have a certain frequency. You keep these things on you long enough, they're going to start changing the vibration of your aura and they're going to attract or repel whatever they're designed to attract or repel. Nothing spooky about it. <clears throat> Again, when we talk about Mercury, we talk about also it's, it's bird is the ibis bird and the ibis, ibis is sacred to, to Tahuti or Thoth. You know, he created writing. He created speech, you know, mathematics, arithmetic, measurements, you know. So when you're when you're talking about the energy of Mercury, you're talking about mind and communication. You know, Mercury, it rules the mind, so it also governs all the nerves. The nerves are what control how your brain sends messages and signals to all your, your muscles to tell you how to operate. So as I was saying in the, in the uh, Instagram reel, you know, the card of Mercury in the tarot is the magician card. In the magician's hand, you will find a wand. A wand is just an extension of your arm that you use to project the energy controlled by your mind once you know how to control energy with your mind. Now, I bet some of y'all are wondering why you ain't been practicing the energy awareness exercise. Because everything I gave you has been setting the stage for to prepare you so you will be capable of getting results when you got to this place. So for everybody who's been practicing the energy exercise, energy awareness exercise, you know, that's really going to come in handy when you get to get to uh, practicing your, your your manifestation and spells, whatever you want to call it, the same shit, branded different, you know, that energy awareness is going, going to help you out a lot. Um, so again, you know, the nerves are an extension of the mind. The wand is an extension of the arm. The arm, which is ruled by Mercury because Mercury rules Gemini, are what you use to to control control you know so the thing the thing about you know mercury even though mars is about force and strength mercury is about control having the ability to function up here and dictate all extensions of yourself if you allow your gut your your emotions to govern you then you're not controlling the extensions of yourself and you need to work on getting that mercury energy more compact and controlled within you. Um, mercury is a good planet. There's nothing better than your mind. Nothing, nothing better than your mind. You know, I tell you guys, rituals are nice, but not necessary. And it's absolutely true. The sooner you become aware of, of energy, how it operates and how your mind can affect energy, you won't need to have a wand or, you know, this magical herb or this, you know, stone or, or this, you know, metal, because you will have an understanding of your, of your energy and how it works. You know, a lot of people don't understand that our body is a vehicle that we travel in. Practice just like you 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 practice every day you know second nature your mind sends a command to your arms to work practice working on your mind mercury rules the mind it rules gemini it rules virgo the color is orange the number is 8 utilize wednesday as a day to to you know keep your mind elastic to channel that information that you allow to get away from you when you, 
you know, negatively using, you know, Mercury's energy, whether it's Gemini type energy with negative ideations and negative negative reinforcement and, and self-defeating thoughts, or, you know, the, the negative Virgo energy of, of worrying and, and manipulating and trying to control every little thing because you feel powerless and defeated. You know, understanding the energy of the planets isn't just about being able to do spells. It's, it's understanding, you know, the, the energy that affects you because the planetary energy does affect us. That's why, you know, the planetary energy affects us. I'll get into that in another video, but I'm glad you guys are sticking around. Enjoy. Practice, 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 practice.